you come out of the plane you're smelling it's smelling like hospital i don't know if they use hypo i don't know if they use bleach to clean the plane nigeria will shock you humble you for sleep. hello guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time of stopping by you are so welcome don't make it your last if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i had you permit me to forget you to blind you with my beauty this sunshine is giving me life yes life 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 <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if it's your first time of coming across my channel, my name is Wendu. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber that is based in the beautiful city of Zurich, Switzerland. Right now, I am in the UK. I am in Watford. Yes, I am in Watford. I'm in the UK. I'm here on holiday with the kids and um, we've been here for a few days. I just came back from Nigeria. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience going to Nigeria after few years. I think like seven years. Um, yeah, the last time I was in Nigeria was in 2016. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my experience. <laughs> Nigeria will shock you, humble you, disappoint you, and everything. But home is home. It was such a short trip. I, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Would I want to go back anytime soon? I don't think so. I need to. All the see, see, I've put on so much weight. I ate, so all those food needs to digest. Yeah. So in this video today, like I said to you, I'm in Nigeria, but that's based in Switzerland right now. I am in. I am in what for the yes <laughs> so please if you're a returning subscriber or if you're a new subscriber click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a video summer is here yes i am glowing i am glowing permit me to suffocate you with those tan yes i got tanned in nigeria i'm loving my hair i made this locks let me show you in nigeria yes so in this video today i'm going to be sharing my experience or <laughs> my expectation versus reality when i got to nigeria i was shook oh my god yes so nigeria hmm, first thing that first of all hit me was when i landed at the airport in lagos it's my first time going through lagos and i don't think i'm ever 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 gonna fly to lagos again the first time i landed in lagos you come out of the plane you're smelling it's smelling like hospital i don't know if they use hypo i don't know if they use bleach to the smell was overpowering the dead oh my god ninja we need to do more actually i noticed that the local wing of the mutala mohammed airport it's even more prettier and cleaner and finer than the international wing i don't know why but coming into nigeria the heat the messiness the dirtiness and everything yes so i got into nigeria went into my hotel relaxed and chilled and everything then the cost of living in nigeria transportation it's nothing to write home about the cost of transportation in nigeria i remember in my head i still had the mindset of how things were in nigeria like seven years ago or 12 years ago when i was in nigeria the prices of food has rocketed like i went i remember when i was in nigeria i used to buy corn for 20 naira now you want to buy corn to eat it's like 200 and 150 naira for one corn hey god oh my god i don't know how the poor masses are coping i don't know how the poor masses are coping the price of things for instance okay i'm going to be comparing prices of what i knew because if you don't know i lived in enugu for some years because i school there so i was a student in nigeria i grew up in nigeria even though i've been abroad now for the past 12 years when i was in nigeria a sachet of indomie was 25 30 naira a sachet of indomie now is 120 naira the smallest sachet of indomie not even the jumbo one is a hundred and twenty naira a bottle of kerosene when i was in nigeria used to be hundred naira sorry about the background noise i have the kids i told you we're on holiday yeah so the kids are doing their thing i just have to knock out this video i have other vlogs that i'm going to be posting before this video then i have my uk vlogs yes this summer holiday this is the first summer holiday in the longest time that i have had holidays like this back to back yes so i planned the trip you know my dad has been ill so it was it has always been a dream of mine or a wish of mine to go visit my dad and see my dad and this holiday we planned in december because of the covid we couldn't do it then they couldn't refund us our tickets our money so we had to move it and just added some little change on top of it so that way and here we are today yes so another thing that is really really alarming about nigeria is about the insecurity the killing when i was in nigeria there was a killing that happened in imo where people that went for wedding they were slaughtered imo is shaking imo is hot at the moment which is crazy yes i don't know how people are coping going from um 
uh, going to the east i was so scared i actually took public transportation from onicha to enugu my heart was literally on my chest like this i could feel my <laughs> i could feel my heart jiggy jiggy. i was so scared once we see any um stop by the more poor people on the road i just think it's kidnappers i don't know why i took that risk i think i wanted i had something to do in enugu but there was no flight from asaba to enugu so the only option i had was either to fly to lagos then enugu or abuja or just to take the road to hours which was what i did because and nobody got money to waste <laughs> yeah so i took that trip and another shock is in nigeria people don't even consider there's no consideration for other people yes i had a flight that was booked for one o'clock from lagos to asaba that flight was moved to seven o'clock in the morning and I was so mad because I went to bed, woke up, check email, and I saw that a flight that was booked a month before I came into Nigeria has been rebooked for 7 a.m. in the morning. I called the airline. They were just apologizing. Aviation fuel, a super aviation fuel, a zero. So I had to miss that flight, and I was rebooked for the next flight for the other day. The price of things are so expensive. The insecurity has moved over to the north. There's a lot of kidnapping in, in the Nigerian road. Nigeria is not safe anymore. The price of the currency dollar is 700 naira. It's for people that live abroad. It favors you. But even if you change the money at that high rate and you bring it to Nigeria, you can't do anything with it. It's like a piece of paper. A hundred thousand naira in Nigeria is like a piece of paper. You go into the market with 50,000. You can I went shopping like normal before i would send fifty thousand for them to buy me food stuff and stuff i went into nigeria market with food for, to buy fifty thousand and i finished buying and i'm like or is it data <laughs> that one shook me i put i asked my sister can you put data of one thousand naira for me my sister put one thousand naira i started to go and galavant in youtube to edit a video and upload a video and the video didn't even finish uploading <laughs> my data was finished i was like how do youtubers in nigeria cope Maybe, I don't know what they use, but I couldn't figure out what they use. But for me, when I was in Nigeria, YouTube was a no-go area. Instagram was a no-go area. Facebook was a no-go. I was just literally doing WhatsApp because my money was just... I put 2005. I put 1000 I was doing hotspot with my sister so that we could save money and share data. I don't know. Nigeria is so, so expensive. I don't know. I think Nigeria needs a good leader. But for a good leader to come to a lot of clean up, have to, they used to use vacuum cleaner. Broom cannot sweep it anymore. They need to use vacuum cleaner to vacuum. A lot of things has to change in Nigeria. There's no maintenance. The transportation system is horrible. The road is horrible. The if, Oh, God. I was flying KK. There was a time I was in a KK and there was like the KK was in the middle of a big water. And I said to the KK man, I hope you have fuel. Because if you don't have fuel, this KK spot here, you're gonna literally carry me out of that KK. Yes, going to Nigeria, I enjoyed the trip, but would I want to go back anytime soon? I don't think so. Maybe after the political election. I don't know if it's because of the election that things are crazy at the moment, but the oh my god. I was saying to my sister, I said, why people in Nigeria, why you feel the impact a lot is because Nigeria is a cash economy. So when you have 100,000 in your pockets and that 100,000 finish, you will feel it. But here abroad, it's not a cash economy. Yeah, you can have cash, but 90% of the time, we make our payments with cards. Yes. So we make our payments with cards. You don't feel the impact that, yes, you know it's leaving your account, but I don't know how to, you know, when, you, when you're when you carrying a bucket of water and you drop it down, you, you will feel the impact than when you're just taking it from the tap and stuff like that. So that's what I feel about Nigeria. Nigeria is... Nigeria is okay. Yes, Nigeria is okay. I was just disappointed about a lot of things. Abacha that I used to eat for 100 naira. Abacha I ate abacha in Enugu for 1,500 naira. <laughs> and I'm thinking just abacha, uba, and fish. Where is Nigeria going to? But Nigeria is still home. Are we praying for Nigeria? Yes, we're praying for Nigeria. Is Nigeria going to be better again? It might, it might, but the sad thing about Nigeria is whatever go up never comes down again. So, first of all, um, gravity in Nigeria doesn't up, doesn't exist. Anything that goes up stays there. When I was in Nigeria, spaghetti was eighty naira or one twenty the most. Now a sachet of spaghetti, spaghetti, it's four hundred and twenty naira. <laughs> oh my God! My mom, she wanted, wanted to cook, cook spaghetti, so my mom gave the girl that stays with her money to go and buy spaghetti, and I said, "Mommy." Uh, how much you give me a five for my mom is like spaghetti is 420. I felt so sad and I don't know how the poor masses are coping. I don't know how those people that depend on daily income that don't have a stable source of income, I don't know how they are coping. People that have children, 
I don't know how they are coping because children don't understand. My mom has two of my uh, nephews and nieces staying with her. And they go to school every day, but biscuit is 70 naira, Hollandia juice is 70 naira, and stuff like that. So by the time these kids are going to school, it's like 250, 500 every day just for snack. Cheese board that we used to buy 10 naira at the time is almost 100 naira now. It's crazy. I don't know. Sorry about the noise again. I don't know how people in Nigeria are coping. We're praying for Nigeria. If you have family members in Nigeria, please, 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 from time to time, nothing is too much, nothing is too little. Even if it's 10,000, you can afford it. It will really go a long way putting food on the table for somebody. Because the rate of, yes, there is inflation all over the world. Even in Switzerland where I live, the price of well, the prices of food stuff have gone high. But not to compare to Nigeria. I am being honest. I was there for a few days. I was able to go to market. I experienced the stuff. I saw stuff. And um, there's no comparison, to be honest. Like here, when you pay, you're seeing what you're paying for. But back in Nigeria, you're paying, but you're not seeing what you're paying for. I don't know if I make sense. Yeah, but Nigeria is still home. Nigeria is still home, but would I want to go back to live in Nigeria? I don't think so. When people are living in Nigeria, now I understand why everybody is looking to run away because there is no amount of salary. You're paying someone that is working with family, 100,000. There is no amount of money you're going to pay that person to be able to pay for school fees, pay for rent, pay for everything. It's crazy. Yeah, so I'm going to be ending this video now. We are going out and you're going to be seeing my UK vlog. So I'll end this video now. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe, like, comment. Leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You're looking gorgeous, darling.